All right, hey, Encore Chat. I'm here with Dan Fadel, great drummer. Um, Danny, I've, I've seen you play for so long, and uh, the one thing I always thought about you in the bands that you're in is that you're so much wiser than your years. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> and you, you always killed it. So, I need you to tell me a couple of things. One, what are you working on now? And we are at the Showplace Studios in Dover, New Jersey, a wonderful yes. facility. So, Dan, what are you up to? Well, today, we... Um, I'm here with my good friend John Ginty, and we're um, cutting some some tracks for um, some of his original music. So we're in here doing a, an original song today, and we were here yesterday as well. So uh, just recording these last few days, playing awesome. the drums. Could you just give me a little history of how you got to be where you are, like where you started, and how you got here? How I got here? Well, like the show place, I... I took Route 80 <laughs> east. <laughs> That's a good road. <laughs> Stay off them local road. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, um, you know, I just always lo loved music, loved listening to records, vinyl. I come from, uh, you know, my mom was a piano teacher and a voice instructor. And uh, since I was a kid, you know, loved Elvis and the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and uh, Smokey Robinson, you know, Motown, any 45s, I could get my hands kiss. You know, I'm sure your discography is yeah. endless. I'm sure you've listened to a lot of things. Did you yeah, ever cool. study? Uh, on and off, yeah. I mean, it's mostly school of life, just being fortunate to know if, uh, always to be out there and meet great musicians like yourself, you know, and uh, lots of lucky coming from uh, this area. There seems to be something in the water, you know, as far Absolutely. as like just uh, great musicians, great local scene. And I guess I feel fortunate to have had the, the opportunity to. Uh, to make music with a lot of uh, these people and become you know friends family you know john and i go back um don't even can't even say it now you know uh, uh 80s <laughs> all right yeah. yeah that is getting to be a ways back anymore 80s, yeah. um how do you feel like if there's a kid coming up who wants to play drums do you think he should go study with a teacher or do you think he should figure it out over the internet do you think he should do both what well i mean both you know both i think any 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 place that you can find, you know, information, you know, there's so many, you know, we're in the information age, you know, with YouTube and being able to just, uh, anything I can think of personally, I can just go on, you know, oh, you know, I want to check out, wonder, Tony Williams, 1967, you know, or 66, oh, you know, YouTube, it, you know, and years ago, you, you know. You know how hard it used to be to try and even... You couldn't find... You didn't even know who Tony Williams... It's like, oh, he's on this record. Who is Yeah, this? but you could... The, you, only a limited amount of uh, info, info could be found. And now, for kids, you know, and anyone, or getting into playing instruments, the world is out there, you know. Plus, but, you know, obviously with a... Or maybe not so obviously, if you find a good, you know, instructor that you can, you know, that you connect with and can help you uh, bridge the gap between, you know, what you're in learning about yourself and out there with your peers mixed with, you know, um, you know, just a good ideas for technique, you know, and for, for drums, you know, just basic rhythmic notation, you know, and uh, right. having some basic rudiments, you know, just your single strokes, doubles. Paradiddle, flam. Whenever, the, from the first time I saw you Kinda play. Go, go I, a long way with just right. those four. <laughs> yeah, the first time yeah. I saw you play, I, I guess it was early 90s, you were playing music. It was, it was so beyond the rudiments, oh, thanks, you know, Dave. but I mean, you were just always playing music. So um, I have one more question for you real quick. If you were to give advice to a younger person, what advice, musical, like how, how to go about this business of music, what advice would you give them? The business? Well, yeah, okay. The, the, the business of music, sure. Business, oh, it's a scary place out there. <laughs> no, no, that, that would, it's, if you want to steer kids away from music, <laughs> it's, no, in all serious, you can edit that part if you like. I mean, well, the business is, you know, just try and uh, work hard, if you, you know, l practice hard, uh, try and play with as many different people as you can and you know, get as much, uh, you know, foundation playing different music with different people and uh, just try and, you know, stay out there, you know, especially when you're young because when you have the energy, you know, tour, travel, play as much as you can while you're young, you know, while your body feels good and you have the energy and, uh, you know, that's what I would say. Just go out there and get it. You know, and it's not going to come into your bedroom and come grab you. So, uh, I mean, once in a while it can, you know, there, but helps to be out there.
Uh, Dan, thank you so much for the interview. Thank you for those words. Thanks for um, tuning in to Encore Chat. Uh, my name is Pete Schmiedhauser, and I own a small music store called uh, Schmied's Music, uh, which is located in the Pine Plaza Shopping Center in Whippany, New Jersey. Um, I just want to thank you all for watching, and um, I just want to stress how important it is to learn uh, to play a musical instrument, no matter what it might be, and to um, really, really better yourself in learning. And I just want to thank you guys and everybody for taking the time to watch our shows and stay tuned for more videos to come.